we really do just need a nice place to rest at this point. Fatigue is actually probably going to start setting in. Um, as much as I do want to go and explore that in, and it would be a good way to kind of branch off into a side adventure, if you will. Um, yeah, he's probably just tired at this point. Doesn't want to deal with it. Pay up, or else. Oh yeah, I saw your brother down Actually, the road. Actually, that's the way this one prefers it. That's the way this one prefers it as well. You know what, he's a bit of a flame of mess, and turns out, so are you. Yeah, you're barely worth using a charge, really. You really should just stick to the cutlass. Okay. Where we go. Hello, dog meat. Oh, thank God for a bit of a cure. That's the first time I've really used a cure disease potion, eh? Uh, to actually cure a disease and not to make some coin. I've just got to check. Where are we? Oh, we are so far from Bravo. Uh, probably should have checked the map. Oh, well, we're going to continue on. Because you know what? Being lost in the woods is just part of being lost in the woods. And, uh, yeah, those are some wise words, by the way, by me. But that's just the way it is. Uh, call it player neglect or, you know, player failure, if you will. crash just then but um yeah I was looking on the map and yeah we're pretty far away from uh, from Bravo uh, I forgot that we kind of crossed over so like I said before being lost in the woods is uh, is pretty much being lost in the woods we've taken we've forgotten about this maybe a bit of uh, exhaustion is setting in uh, you know, he's just forgotten what to do, you know, maybe the thrill of the co of the previous combat. Uh, you know, the thrill of finding such treasures as well. He's just, uh... Made Peyton skip... Skip some important details, you know? And, uh, it might, it might prove costly for him. Let's go claim our kill over here. Oh, that was a nice shot straight into the skull there. Oh, let's see if we can get another one on his friend. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that one right there. Right, is there anything we can drop that we really don't need? I guess riches? Oh, we don't need the riches. Oh man, we just got so much on us. Kills. We really need to just get to an inn. Something like that. Like I said, fatigue is really starting to set in. Uh, we just need anything at this point. Uh, I'm going to make it so... Oh, this isn't good. What are we stumbled on? We've been spotted by a mage. Kind of flying blindly here. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. I 
was, that was easier than I thought. probably going to have to do is, uh, we're back in the combat, right? Give me one second, combat. Heavy armor, don't worry about it. No one wears light armor in this. Only us. So, let's have a look how much, uh. We're starting to run low on arrows. I guess we're gonna have to give this boss my cutlass up. Just for weight at this point. It's served as well, but you know. I think our short sword of boss will be just as good. Maybe we can know. There's just more of them there. We kind of want to avoid a fight here. I uh, just want to find somewhere to camp. Maybe an inn or something. Crest Bridge Camp. Are you guys friendly? I think we should just pack up and go home. Have faith, Alois. Oh, friendly? I'm sure my father will think of something. Well met. Wait. Come, warm yourself by our fire. Oh, you have no idea how much I've wanted to find this. Take care. Okay. How are you? Try and Hello, my Hello. friend. A word of advice. Watch for goblins if you're heading north. Yeah, so I was... What about these goblins north and north near Bravel, I would ask? Watch out for them if you're heading north. We ran into goblin war parties northwest of here while starting to build a new settlement. My family and I are still trying to figure out what to do. We spent everything we had to buy the land and supplies, so we can hardly go back. Say, do you think you could help us? We need to get the goblins off our land so we can start building our new settlement. You know what? I'll give you a hand as soon as I can have a rest, and uh, I'll be glad to... I had a good feeling about you, friend. You should talk to Marisa about the goblins. She's our guide and knows what needs to be done. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll talk to you in the morning. Take care. No worries. What is it now? Can I use one of these beds? Yep. I'm gonna save here. And um, yeah, I would have asked him. You know, a bit of, can I can I just sleep here for the night? He would have told me yes. And uh, yeah, we'll sleep for a good eight hours. And we'll help these good people on the way north to Bravel, or so we think it's Bravel. We're going to get a nice little surprise when we end up not where we are. But like I said, getting lost is half the fun of being on the road. So yeah. How are you? Yeah, good morning. Alright, so Morris, uh, her name was, I think it was, let's talk to her. Good to see you. Good to see you. If you need anything, talk to my father-in-law. This whole expedition was his idea. You kind of look like a count. I'm guessing father in law is that guy? Barthel Garnand. He talked us into selling our comfortable house in High Rock to start a new settlement here in Cyrodiil. Mm, High Rock, they're quite a way away. He read something about cheap land being offered by the government. Of course, nobody said anything about the swarming goblins. Yeah, tell me about these goblins. We had just set up at Cropsford when Marissa came running in. Said goblins were heading our way. We barely escaped with our lives. Hmm. Uh, where's this Cropsford? If you ask Barthel, it's the garden spot of Tamriel. See for yourself. It's just northwest of here. But watch out for the goblins. Okay. Well, we're going to take a little bit of a sit here by the fire. Have something to eat for breakfast. Lucky we bought enough trail rations, really. I think I just knocked that guy down by sitting down. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll cook up some beef, 
fat, bread, bit of cheese. We have a cheese, we also will eat too. A uh, bit of our fat bread as well. And uh, yeah, we'll have a sweet roll as well with all that. And a uh, little bit of alchemy. Let's see if we can uh, finish off this aloe vera. It looks like, yep, we're done with it. And give our armor a bit of a repair. Ooh, our greaves were down to zero. No wonder we were taking a beating there. Okay, so these two we can't repair yet. <clears throat> but we do have our secondary weapon now. Our non-magical weapon, if you will. So... Let's talk to this lady about the goblin. Go ahead. Northwest of here, so... Actually, let's talk about him back Copsford. Good day. See if you can point it to us on the map. It's northwest of here along the yellow road. You'll see some of our supplies near the road where we left them when the goblins attacked. Okay. What well, can you tell me about these goblins? Have you made any progress? Is it safe oh, okay. for us to go to Cropsford yet? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Alright, let's go talk to... Be seeing you. ...to this lady over here. Miris. What? No, I was... ...told to ask you about the goblins at Cropsford. Follow the yellow road northwest from here. You'll see the supplies they had to abandon when the goblins attacked. Okay. okay. Tell me about the goblins. You've agreed to help them clear the goblins from Cropsford? That's great news. I've done some scouting around while we've been camped here, and it looks like Cropsford is right in the middle of a goblin war. The caves around here are infested with goblins. Normally, goblins stay close to their lairs and wouldn't be a huge problem. But two tribes are at war, and their war parties are crossing right through Cropsford. What you'll need to do is stop the war somehow. Okay, how do I stop this war then? Goblins have their own reasons for doing things. Don't make sense to us, usually, but I've learned a lot about their ways over the years. Each tribe guards a head in its lair. Whose head, I don't know. A sacred tribal totem, or something like that. Anyway, if you want to rile up a goblin tribe, steal their tribal head, which is often what a rival tribe does, just to prove they're tougher. I'd lay odds that the war between the two tribes is because of a stolen tribal head, nor the reason for a war to go on this long. So to stop the war, all you need to do is sneak into Timberscar Cave, find the stolen tribal head, and return it to the Cracktwood Cave Goblins. Unless you want to do things the 